Okay, last one is from Jason W. John, if Spike Lee wins the Oscar for Best Director this year, he will be the first African American to win that category. Do you think that they will give Spike Lee the win for that fact alone, or do you think Alfonso Cuaron takes home the Best Director for the second time after his win for Gravity back in 2014? What do you guys think? It's it's an interesting question here um, because look it. Unfortunately, it's in the same year as Black Panther, and a lot of people are like, well, what are the real reasons Black Panther got nominated, blah, blah, blah. And we, we've had all those discussions, whatever. And unfortunately, because it's all in the same year, Spike Lee seems to be getting dragged into that conversation as well. And, and I understand the question, Jason, that, you know, hey, if, could he win it just because of that? Let me tell you what, though. The difference between... The, the Black Panther situation and the Spike Lee situation is this. Spike Lee is the best director of the year. That's the difference. I believe Spike Lee should be handed this trophy right now. I believe he did the best direction of the movie. And not only would he become the first to win, he's, by the way, only the sixth black director to be nominated for best director. And there are some great names that come along with it. Here, take a look at this. So we had John Singleton was the first. He was nominated for Boys in the Hood, Lee Daniels for Precious, Steve McQueen for 12 Years a Slave. He could have won that one. There, there was a good argument for him to win that one. He did not. Barry Jenkins ended up winning Best Picture for Moonlight, but he lost out uh, for, for Best Director, but he was nominated. Of course, last year, Jordan Peele got nominated for Get Out. And this year, Spike Lee, a guy I'm not even that big of a fan of, is nominated for Best Director, and I believe wholeheartedly he should. Now, will he win? Well, look, Roma is, is a just a juggernaut right now. I think Roma, the road has been paid for Roma to win Best Picture. Uh, I'm not even a big fan of Roma, but I think the road has been paid for it to win Best Picture. It's going to be tough not to, not to for them to give it to Alfonso for that, but as far as I'm concerned, when you look at Black Klansman, that movie is all about direction. It's all about direction. And it was directed brilliantly and I believe wholeheartedly the Spike Lee deserves to win this award and I would vote for him were I a voting member of the Academy with that being said therefore if he wins I think he wins strictly on merit I think he wins strictly on merit because he did that good and I understand there'll be the conversation because he'll be the first to do it so sure those conversations will start and that's fine I understand that but those conversations that start they damn well better end with he won it because he earned it. He won it because of merit, because he did a spectacular job on this film, and he fully deserves to win this award, and I hope that he does. Rob, you're seeing this. Number one, it is interesting to think that only six times has an African-American director been nominated. Some great names listed there. Do you think there will be, number one, what do you think his shot is at winning? And number two, do you think there'll be any kind of controversy around it if he does? Um, uh, You know, I, I honestly don't think he has a shot of winning. He obviously did a great job with Black Klansman, but I have to say that what Caron did with Roma was truly extraordinary and, and groundbreaking. I mean, you know, to be able to, there's a lot of these long, languid takes in Roma where it was, they were so brilliantly uh, choreographed and directed, and it's really difficult to not rely on editing to tell a story when you have long, I mean, talk about a movie that's all about direction, Roma is that movie, and he was his own cinematographer. I mean, I was astonished. The first when I first saw Roma, the first hour, I'm like, "What the hell? Is, what is this movie?" Because I was expecting it to be something else. And as I moved into the second half of the film, I'm like, "Okay, now I understand what's going on." And I was I was completely blown away by what he accomplished. And I thought Black Klansman was great, but it's far more traditional. And I think like what Caron did with Gravity was equally striking. And I and I think he he's probably going to be 